Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we will try to see how we can create pipelines with the help of make pipelines. Sorry for the spelling mistake. And this make pipeline is basically present in sklearn itself. The SkyGit Learn provides this particular library. And then uh, in my previous video, I have already discussed about pipelines in sklearn, you know, uh, where we had actually imported sklearn.pipeline. And then we had also seen some examples of how we can actually perform grid source CV using pipelines itself, which is just like a hyperparameter tuning. Now, in this particular video, there is also one more library which is called as make pipelines, make underscore pipeline you basically say it as, and then we'll try to understand the differences between make pipelines and pipelines, okay? And there's just a smaller difference. So uh, from my previous uh, steps only, I was able to find out that uh, decision tree and random forest work are very good algorithms. See over here, the random forest work we are getting around 0.91111. Now, after we did hyperparameter tuning using grid search CV, and guys, if you have not seen this particular video, again, the link will be given in the description. Please have a look onto that so that you'll be able to understand what is pipelines and how you can actually perform grid search CV. Okay, now here, when I'm using this particular classifier that is random forest classifier. The best accuracy that I actually got over here was somewhere around 0.955. Okay, so uh, okay, so over here the best algorithm that was selected was logistic regression. Sorry for that. See over here when I'm seeing that best estimator, so logistic regression was there. And with the help of hyperparameter tuning, we were able to get around 95%. Initially, we were not getting that much. If I if I show you the accuracy previously, it was somewhere around 86%. But with the help of hyperparameter tuning, we were able to get somewhere around 95%, okay? Uh, now what, I'll, I'll show you how you can actually create pipelines with the help of make underscore pipelines, okay? Now remember guys, in pipelines, we had to give two parameters in the form of tuples, okay? So list of tuples, in the form of tuples, we need to give two parameters. First is, what is this estimator name? And then the second is basically whatever algorithm you're applying, whether you're applying feature scaling, whether you're applying standard scalar, whether you're applying some mean imputation, so it depends on that particular classes itself. But always remember in pipeline, you have to give two uh, two values in your tuple. Okay, one is the estimator name and the other one is basically the estimator. But in the case of pipeline, I did not give any estimator. Okay, I did not give any estimator. So what will happen is that whenever I'm using this random forest classifier, okay, automatically the make underscore pipeline will create a variable in the smaller letter of this same word. Okay, so something like random forest classifier like this. Okay, now I have already created a pipeline with respect to random forest classifier. Suppose now I want to do some hyperparameter tuning with the help of uh, grid search CV. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to make a key value pairs. So like this, I have actually made a key value pairs. And remember the first random forest classifier, again, I told you the first key, I know by default make underscore pipeline will consider the smaller letter of this particular word. So here I have random forest classifier, okay? In the form of list I've uh, provided over here. Then again, in random forest classifier, you have various parameters like n underscore estimators, max underscore depth, min underscore samples underscore leaf, max underscore leaf underscore nodes. So for this, what we do is that we just use this random forest classifier over here, okay? So this variable will be there only and we just have to write underscore underscore with the hyperparameter, whatever hyperparameter we basically have inside this particular algorithm. So random forest classifier, random forest classifier, random forest classifier, underscore, underscore, whatever parameters we basically have. And these are the various values that I'm selecting for grid search CV. Similarly, uh, here I've actually selected for max depth, for minimum sample lift, maximum leaf, uh, leaf nodes, and other parameters also you can basically try. Now in grid search CV, first of all, I'll provide this pipe that is basically my pipeline. Then I'm all going to provide all my grid parameters, whatever grid parameters it has to do with the permutation combination to find out the best fit parameter, right? Then here the, I'm going to take the cross validation as five. I'm randomly selected it. Then Borbus is equal to zero and underscore jobs is equal to one, minus one. When I do this fit, it will take somewhere around, uh, you know, five minutes to run this because it has to do the various permutation and combinations. And then when I'm seeing the model dot score, I'm getting somewhere around 95%, okay? So pretty much good. And this is how make pipelines is basically used. Only difference between pipeline and make pipeline is that in pipeline, you actually provide your own estimator name. Okay. Whereas in the case of make pipeline, you don't provide any name by default, whatever 
object that you are using it will take in the smaller uh, smaller letters for that same word itself like in this particular case random forest classifier so i have all smaller random forest classifier so yes i hope you understood the basic difference between make pipelines and pipelines in sklearn and i have also shown you this particular example in my previous video if you don't know about pipeline just see my previous video i have already shown there are hip of pipelines and how you can actually perform hyperparameter tuning using grid cv in this example i have considered both make pipeline and i have also shown you how you can perform grid cv so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all